I'm right there with you. You know, come the summer, eventually, the American people are going to say we are done with it. And illegals, illegal immigrants, because they don't follow any laws, they're going to revolt. They're not going to be want to be pushed around. They're not going to want to be uh, taken out. They're not going to want to be sent back. They're going to revolt. They're going to start chaos. And uh, we're going to want to fight back. And it's going to be it's going to be intense. It's going to be intense. Those criminals don't follow laws. Those criminals get aggressive. But Americans, you have a way of doing so as well, if you need be. And um, it's going to get ugly. I just feel it in my spirit. It's going to get ugly. It's going to get better for us. And it's going to, it's making Americans, it's more dangerous for America to be anywhere around the world. If you're an American, you're taking hostage. Do you think this president's going to give a damn about you? I mean, he, he, nope. he doesn't, he doesn't, he's never talked about the hostages that Hamas is, has, but he wants to go to give a whole bunch of humanitarian money uh, to Gaza that's going to go directly to Hamas. Build that's what I mean. So There's no word meaning on that. that is not focused on American citizens. That's the number one thing, the safety of American citizens. He is not doing it. I can't imagine he will get better in Haiti. Uh, so, Senator, history in Haiti has a habit of repeating itself again and again and again uh, in ways that they wouldn't do for American citizens. And so I think what these bills will do, yes, someone comes and, and commits a crime after being deported, they're going to have the book thrown at them. That's good. Uh, we're ensuring that these local governments can't recognize any of these rogue out-of-state licenses, uh, making sure if it's you know, driving without a license going to be treated very seriously if you're here illegally. I think it's, it's, it's all good. It will reduce criminal aliens for sure. But I think it'll also just be a disincentive that, that Florida, you know, we probably have as many foreign born as a percentage of any state, but, but we want people to do it right. Um, and, and we don't want to have a massive number of people point. Look, we've got people coming and pouring into the state from from Illinois and New York and California as it is. You know, we can't have uh, an influx beyond that. We just wouldn't be able to accommodate it. So I think that this will help. You know, they said they were sanctuary jurisdictions, so they were totally willing to talk the talk. Not a sanctuary state. We do not allow sanctuary cities. And we're adding to what, you know, when, when even the New York Times is admitting that our bills from last year were the strongest in the country, you know we must be doing things right.